Hey guys, welcome to my home theater. Thanks for clicking my video. We're gonna make a tour through my home theater. I don't want to bore you with the technical details. You find all the stuff that is built in this cinema down in the description below. Let's start with the seats. Uh, the seats are very special. It's three cinema home theater seats, which my wife and I use. The middle one is of course mine and the other ones is for my guests or my wife. But if you have more guests than three, then my wife and I just go back on the couch. The special thing about those seats is that it has a body shaker integrated, which plays bus scenes from a movie or a video game intense. So it shakes and vibrates during those scenes. It's pretty nice and uh, you don't wake up your neighbors. The audio system in this home theater is actually a 7.2.4 Atmos setup which means seven surround speakers, two subwoofers, and four ceiling speakers. So basically you can't see any front speakers like the subwoofer, the center, the left and the right speaker because they are behind an audio transparent canvas. In between the canvas and the actual wall of the room is about five feet space. So there's all the stuff hidden like the front speakers and the subwoofers. This makes the impression that the sound is really coming directly out of the picture like in a real cinema. There's about 450 feet speaker cable in the ceiling and about 200 feet HDMI cable under the platform. To have it nice and comfy, you need a remote control, which you can program with your internet or your Wi-Fi. It makes everything very convenient and very easy for me. I can just sit in my seat and just control it all with the universal remote. To control the light, I use Alexa. It controls the lights in the ceiling and the LEDs under the platform. This is my rig. It's the hard piece of the home theater. I use it for Twitch streams, for gaming, and of course, for video editing. This is our scoreboard. My buddy's coming over, or my brother playing video games. We track it down on this. And as you can see, the most strings are on my side, so what should I say? In the background is the projector. It's a Sony 4K Beamer, so it has to be very dark in here. The whole cinema is also built in the cellar, so you don't have any actual daylight. But the home theater is built in the cellar, so the neighbors don't hear a noise. So we are back here in the tech room. This is where the valuable stuff is. As you can see, there are a lot of old consoles like the N64, the Super Nintendo, the GameCube, PlayStation 1, 2 and 3, and the Xbox 360. That just shows you that I've been playing video games for a very long time. In the meanwhile, I collected 270 movies. How many games are back here? I can't really tell you, but I'm sure it's more than the 270 movies. Over the years, I gathered a lot of collector's editions, but as you can see, there's not a lot of space anymore, sadly. And actually, the most precious stuff, which is back here. A few things are in front of the home theater, as you can see, but most of the good stuff is right here. Just for your information, this whole home theater is not in the cellar of my mom. It was actually planned right along when I built my house. What's still missing, you ask? Hmm. The upgrade is always possible. But what comes first to my mind is a fridge. I don't have a fridge in here, so I have to go out in the next room and pick up drinks for my friends or guests here. So that would be nice. So thanks for joining me on my tour through my home theater. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to give a special thanks to Sebastian who made that video also, which camera he used and stuff filming this is in the description below. Thank you also to Heimkino Raum Nürnberg who actually helped me build this thing, um, brought all the, the equipment here and helped me with the audio. And a very special thanks to my brother who actually built all this and who just made what I said, what I wanted, and he just turned it into this. Thank you, Nordin. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like and smash that subscription button. Thank you for joining me. See you on my Twitch stream.